Yeah. How are you? Congratulations. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. Hey, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good. 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 Are we ready? Well, good morning and welcome to the Sunquest Center here on the campus of the Fayetteville Fayetteville campus of uh, Montlow College. This is also the headquarters of the Fayetteville Lincoln County Industrial Development Board. My name is Ron Mayhall and I'm the current chairman of the Industrial Board. We're glad that you're here this morning, especially in spite of the, the uh, ominous weather conditions, to share in our good news. And to deliver that good news is our esteemed governor of the state of Tennessee, Governor Bill Haslam. Thanks, Ron. I welcome everyone. It's great to see you. Like I said, thanks for making it out on a tough weather day. Uh, and it is a good day uh, for here. And we, we thank you for all the work that you and both mayors have done. We want to welcome our friends from Nippon Steel. We're honored to have you all here as well and uh, for the good news you bring to, uh, to the community. Well, we are here this morning. Actually, let me stop and let me thank Senator Jim Tracy and Representative Pat Marsh uh, for their help. Uh, we, we, we get to kind of stand up here and make announcements, but all that's because the legislature has enabling legislation uh, that, that allows us to do this and passes a budget that puts it into place. And we appreciate both of your partnerships. So Pat tells me he grew up right up the hill here. So there's probably a few people around here that have stories on Pat will be available for that right afterwards. <laughs> I have stories on them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> stories go both ways. That's right. Stories go both ways. So. We are here in Fayetteville and Lincoln County to announce another significant economic development project in this community. We're announcing that Toledo Molding and Dye will build a new manufacturing facility here in Fayetteville. The company, a global service, uh, full service supplier for the automotive industry, will invest $20 million and create 250 new jobs right here. Thank you very, very much, Steve, and your team. We're very grateful. <laughs> had a chance to, uh, last week we were in Detroit for the auto show, and uh, Randy and I had a chance to have lunch with uh, Steve and uh, Dave and Bill and their uh, uh, folks from the company. And Randy and I, this is, we're not making this up, we both got back in the car and said, those are our kind of people. Uh, they're people who are focused on their business, uh, they're all about their family and their community, and uh, we're, we welcome you here, and uh, we couldn't be more excited that a, a company like you, uh, with, with people like you leading it, uh, has chosen here. Um, we, we appreciate the investment. You know, we have a real focus in Tennessee on our rural economic development. Uh, it's, it's tough. To be honest with you, jobs is there. Everybody knows jobs uh, around the country tend to uh, flock to the more urban areas. Uh, but uh, with uh, Commissioner Boyd's leadership, we've really worked hard to change that. We've invested eight million dollars in a new rural economic development fund uh, to boost uh, counties uh, throughout the state. We also developed a, a new task force to focus on that. Uh, but the main thing we want to do is make certain we have the workforce that's ready. When we had a chance to have lunch uh, last week, we talked a lot about workforce and how much that mattered. I appreciate the way this area has been all in in terms of making certain that folks are prepared. In Tennessee, our, uh, our drive to 55, the effort to make certain that 55% of our population has a degree or certificate by 2025, I think is the is a difference maker for our entire state. Uh, we want to be able to tell folks like TMD that we will have the workforce that you need uh, to locate here and as you will grow here. We're really excited about that. So we want to thank TMD for uh, for choosing here. You're going to get to hear from Steve and a few others in a second. Uh, we're grateful uh, for their commitment investment and our commitment to you is uh, this isn't just a uh, a uh, uh, glad to have you. We will see you in a few years, deal. Um, we're, we're, we couldn't be more excited to be your partners, um, and we're committed to doing everything we can to have you all succeed right here in Fayetteville. Congratulations and thank you. Ron?
Thank you, Governor. Appreciate those kind comments. Please welcome President of uh, Toledo Molding and Dye, Mr. Steve Chucci. Uh, thank you, Ron, and, and thank you, Governor Haslam, for the uh, very kind words. Um, welcome, good morning, and thank all of you for being here today. This is a great day for Toledo Molding and Dye. It's an honor to be with you as we kick off our business expansion here in the great state of Tennessee. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you, uh, Governor Haslam and, and Commissioner Boyd. It was awesome to meet you guys last week and, and have a, a great lunch. Got to know you uh, personally. Uh, really enjoyed that opportunity. Um, we think that you guys brought this cold weather back with you uh, and not us, right? We usually get blamed blame for bringing this kind of weather here, but I, I think you guys brought it back with you. Um, I'd also like to thank the, uh, uh, Elaine Middleton for her efforts as the Executive Director of the Industrial Development Board. With Ron's support, uh, Elaine and the IDB team uh, did a great job putting together a, a very competitive land, building, and lease package, which made our decision much easier to locate here. Uh, kudos also to Gay Dempsey, uh, who is here uh, with Charles and Justin and the team at Bank of Lincoln County, with along uh, a couple other banks here putting together the financing package for this, uh, this facility. You guys did a great job. Also like to thank the TVA, uh, really what a powerful economic development asset for the state and for the region. Uh, actually Chris Berryman choppered uh, Dave Spots uh, around for several days looking at I think about 30 sites initially when this project got kicked off. Uh, it was a very efficient way to get around to look at a bunch of sites. And I think TVA's uh, effective power rate, which is quite excellent, certainly the lowest in our portfolio, uh, will allow us to be much more cost competitive uh, and secure business and fill up this facility. Uh, speaking of Dave Spots and Bill Hyland, I'd like to thank them both for their efforts on this project so far. They've done all of the work. I get the uh, opportunity to stand up here and, and take credit that I really don't deserve. So they've done all of the work and I think they're making some uh, new friends here in Tennessee. Um, as, as the governor mentioned, we're planning a 126,000 square foot facility. Uh, we will introduce injection molding and blow molding uh, over uh, the course of the next five years. We, we have committed to create uh, 250 jobs and invest 20 million in capital uh, over that five year period. And we're excited to do that. We've come to Tennessee to support our current customers, specifically Nissan, Honda, uh, and Calsonic, but we're also positioning ourselves for growth opportunities with new customers. Obviously VW not too far from here, Mercedes in that other state, uh, and, and a few other customers, right? By the end of the year, we expect to begin producing both blow molded and injection molded parts for Nissan that we're transferring from uh, facilities in Ohio, which will be a great foundation for this plant. And then over the years, we hope to duplicate our entire product portfolio uh, here in, in Tennessee. As we were choosing our location, we actually did strongly consider that state to the north and that state to the south, right? <laughs> uh, but frankly, we could not make a, a bad decision, but we know we, we made the absolute best decision when we selected the state of Tennessee. I mean, how can you turn down Victoria Hirschberg, right? Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, seriously, Victoria, you and, and your team did an unbelievable job representing your state and putting together a very competitive business support package for us. Uh, I'd love to have you on our sales team. I think we'd fill the plant up a, 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 lot, a lot quicker. I, I, I probably can't pay her enough. Uh, They're um, big fans. Yeah, yeah. Um, one, one of the most important factors influencing our decision to select Fayetteville was its central location to many automotive customers with easy access to freeways. Equally as important though is, is, the, is the great community and the great workforce that is here, right? We can have the finest facility in the world with the best equipment, but we're only as good as the people that we have working. And we know we're gonna have a great workforce here. We're really excited about the Drive to 55, the Tennessee Promise and Reconnect programs that you guys have, which is uh, fantastic for workforce development. Uh, so important to have uh, trained, well-trained employees to be successful. We know we'll have that here. In addition to the 13 million of business that we're transferring from our Ohio facilities and another facility here, we have already booked 12 million of new business with uh, General Motors, Nissan, and VW. So we're off to a very good start uh, here in, in, in this facility. Actually, a little better start than in Tennessee, I'm sorry, than in Mexico. We have a facility in Mexico that's doing well, but this one is already doing better and, and we don't even have it built yet. So that's a, that's a good sign for us. Um, at times like this, I'm reminded of a quote that it takes 
uh, only a moment to be a hero, but it takes a lifetime to be a good person or to be a good company. Uh, so while this announcement is a hero moment for TMD, we are in it for a lifetime. We pledge to the good people of Fayetteville and to the state of Tennessee to provide good jobs, to be strong members of your community and your state, and to create value for our customers, which is why we exist. So I'd like to thank you for the warm welcome and for accepting us as part of your family. We look forward to a long partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Steve. We're really excited about all of this, and it's going to be a great partnership. I'd also like to introduce the commissioner of the Tennessee Commissioner of Economic and Community Development, Mr. Randy Boyd. So thank you, Ron, and actually a, a special thank you to all of you for actually showing up today. I woke up this morning and saw the bad weather, and I was it, we already had a bunch of other things cancel, and I was really concerned that we might actually cancel this event. And I was thinking for some people from Toledo uh, to see an event cancel because of the threat of maybe an inch of snow, <laughs> it would probably not get us off to the right right start. But so thank you for being here and uh, and, uh, and and showing up and showing your support. There's a few quick thank yous. So first off, thank you, uh, TMD. I, I noticed when we had lunch the other day that the TMD D could be Toledo molding and die or could be Tennessee molding and die um, so it's they don't have to change the acronym uh, in fact at lunch I don't know if I could confess this or not but I or say this or not but I will there was a conversation among some of them that said you know we're thinking we've been talking to our li wives and one day when we retire we would love to retire to Tennessee we did suggest you don't have to wait until you retire <laughs> you can come on down now we'd love love to have you but uh, as, as uh, um, Steve mentioned, you know, they looked at other states. There's, there's a global company. They could have gone anywhere in the world, literally, that they wanted to go, and yet they chose Tennessee and they chose Franklin County. And I think that says volumes about this community. And so I think it's something that we should all be very, very proud of. And I just want to say a, tr a, a tremendous thank you to you guys for choosing choosing our state and choosing this community to, uh, to build your, your business and grow it here. Uh, another thank you to our legislators. Representative Marsh, Senator Tracy, so they make my job one of the easiest jobs in the world. In fact, people always ask me, well, this, this is going to be a hard job selling the state of Tennessee. And I remind them, and some of you may not know this, but in my, my uh, former career, I have a company called Radio Systems. We make a product called the Invisible Fence. And so think about it, for a living for the last 25 years, I've had to sell an invisible fence. I tell if I can sell an invisible fence for a living, I can sell the state of Tennessee. So it's, uh, but the reason why it's such an easy state to sell is because of some of the great, um, uh, the position they put our state in. We have the uh, lowest debt per capita in the country. So when businesses are talking to us, they know they've got a partner that's got a balance sheet that can back up the promises that we make. And the second thing, also as Steve alluded to, is, is the Tennessee promise and some of the things we're doing around workforce. Found out very early in this job that really nobody ever talks about construction or about grading. The number one uh, conversation that you have with every prospect is about workforce. Where am I going to get my future workers? And because of things like the Tennessee Promise and Reconnect that the legislature passed, that the governor proposed, we have uh, the best uh, pipeline, talent pipeline in the country. So it gives us a great strength to, uh, uh, to be able to offer to uh, our, our potential prospects. Lastly, I just want to thank the team here that helped pull this together. Elaine Middleton, uh, Victoria Hirschberg, who is uh, staying put in the economic and community <laughs> development in the state of Tennessee. Um, we'll be renegotiating your contract right after this. <laughs> uh, but um, one thing I've discovered, too, is that nothing happens with just one individual. Everything that we get done in our state that matters is done as a team, as Team Tennessee. So when we're successful, we can only be successful by working together. So just thank all of you guys that pulled this together and, 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 and made this uh, day happen. And lastly, just to conclude, um, you know, we're, we, we, we spent a lot of time working with you to try to bring you to Tennessee, but now we're your partner and we plan on helping you to grow for, for generations to come. And so I'm, I'm new to government work, um, and I remember in my private life, I used to have this, uh, there was a saying that we would say sometimes, it was always meant kind of as a derisive joke, but now that I'm inside government, when we say this, we really mean it. So we're with the government and we're here to help. So <laughs> thank, thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Appreciate those kind remarks. At this time, let me introduce the mayor of the city of Fayetteville, Mr. John Law. It's kind of rough to follow those three presentations, but uh, I, I just want to welcome TMD and, and Nippon Steel to our community. Um, you both made decisions to join us 
and I promise you will not be disappointed. We will cooperate, we will do what we have to do to make you a success and, and make your business grow. Um, I, I woke up this morning and Kurt Gowdy was yelling in my ear the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And, and I didn't hear anything other than the thrill of victory after a while and, and, and I, I thought about 2015 and it's like, it's like this, this Fayetteville community won the lottery twice. And I'm thinking, how did that happen? And it's, it's, it's like Commissioner Boyd said, it's all teamwork. And, and you have to commend Governor Haslam for being the, the leader that he is. Uh, you don't have to be, uh, you know, a monk to figure out what he has done for this, for this state. In fact, when he goes to governor's conferences, it's like Bruce Springsteen walks in, or better yet, Elvis walks in the room. So, you know, we thank him for all of his efforts and, and wish that the, uh, <clears throat> that the assembly might uh, consider uh, extending that rule about having only two terms for the governor, but that's another joint. <laughs> Commissioner Boyd, great job, comes into, the, into this office less than a year, I believe, and has, has, has brought a whole lot of energy, business savvy, and, and, and just creativity to the ECD. Um, but he takes boots on the ground to make things happen. And I have to, they already have, obviously she's popular in other sectors other than ours, but a fellow New Yorker, Victoria Hirschberg, I mean, she's worked on the uh, Nippon Steel uh, project as well as the TMD project phenomenal, phenomenal uh, capabilities and, and a great person. And I, and I can't, I can't get along without saying uh, kudos to Elaine Middleton and the, and the IDB board. Um, you know, former chairman Will Thomas is here as well as the current chairman, uh, Ron Mayall, and they've done a great job. They keep focused on, on, on the future. They do the things that are necessary to make sure that we're set up for the next, for the next prospect. And uh, they follow that strategic plan all into the future so we can grow. <coughs> and I want to thank all our local representatives, Pat and Jim, do a great job. I mean, it's just not IDB related is issues that we deal with. They're, they're into us for everything. We, we are very satisfied with what they do and they do a great job. TVA and FPU, think about it. If they weren't around, we wouldn't be sitting in a lighted room having water and a heated room. And the, the good thing about them is that they have maintained and built an infrastructure for the future. They didn't stop and just maintain what we have and be satisfied with it and wait for the industry to, to tell us what they need. We are out there making the difference in our infrastructure to make sure we have it available for anybody that comes in. And I want to close with, 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 uh, with a comment that I made at, 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 at our, our city employee dinner this, uh, during the holiday season. This community, um, we are, we're a team, like Commissioner Boyd pointed out, and this team has no bench. So everybody plays, and everybody is important, regardless of how small you think your job is. Each one of those pieces makes up the whole puzzle to make us successful. I thank you all for coming, and I appreciate everything that you do for us. Thank you. Thank you, John. Very pointed comment. And last but not least, let me introduce the Lincoln County Mayor, Bill Newman. <clears throat> When you're last on the program, you don't need to do a prepared talk because uh, somebody will give it for you before you get there, right? I've seen this occur on more occasions than one, but welcome both of our new family members. Uh, in Tennessee, we treat guests like family, and when they become family, you're treated like guests. Uh, we may speak slow, but the governor knows the speed of business, and Commissioner Boyd knows how to recruit at the speed of business. We try to get those answers back to them. And now that y'all are family, now we really are available for you for anything you want, from our office all the way to the governor's office. And um, 
I appreciate what Elaine Middleton's done. It is a team effort. There's not one person that uh, would, I would kick off the team that we have in Tennessee, Lincoln County, and Fayetteville now. Pat Marsh, Jim Tracy, they do a great <laughs> job. Victoria and TVA, everybody comes together. They get it. So welcome to the country. I mean, it's a little relative, just like the weather, you know. People in New York think Nashville's country. People in Nashville think Fayetteville's country. But you're in the country right now, and we got good people here, and we're going to enjoy y'all being here and being a part of it. Thanks for coming, and we're going to make it worth your while for your lifetime. Thank you. Thank everybody. Governor. Mayor, thank you. Commissioner. Appreciate it. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much. This is going to conclude our program this morning, but not before I introduce the real spark plug in this IDB engine. She's one of the main reasons that TMD and Nippon Steel have taken a look at our community and then have decided to stay. She has the confidence of the folks at ECD, TVA, MTIDA, and all those that we work with on a frequent basis. She's our IDB Executive Director, Mrs. Elaine Middleton. Stand up, Elaine. I'd also like to introduce the rest of the industrial board. They're sitting down here, gentlemen and ladies. If you'll stand up and take a bow, I'd appreciate it. Let me just say thanks also to all of our guests this morning, Senator, Representative, everybody that's here this morning. Uh, everybody plays a part in what we try to do here. We think we've got a great story to tell in Fayetteville and Lincoln County, and uh, we hope these successes will continue. So once again, thank you for coming and braving the, the winter conditions. I think we're far enough south that uh, it probably isn't going to be uh, uh, too awfully bad other than just wet here. Hope everybody's able to get home and find shape and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon at another one of these parties. Thank you very much.